Welcome to today's video on how to set up your brand new Ledger hardware wallet. In today's video, the device I'm working with is gonna be a Ledger Nano S Plus. However, the steps that I do in this video, setting your pin for your device, getting your seed phrase, they're really applicable to all current models of Ledger. So if you do have another model, such as a Ledger Nano X or a Ledger Nano S, the following steps still apply to you. The first thing you're gonna do for your new Ledger device is take it out of the packaging. Your Ledger is gonna come with not only the device, but also a cable that you can use to plug your device into your computer. And you are gonna also receive three copies of a seed phrase booklet. These booklets are where you write down your 24 word seed phrase. So we're gonna be writing the seed phrase today down one time in one booklet but Ledger does provide you with some extra booklets. So as you're taking the elements out of your box, get familiar with everything that came with your new Ledger Nano S Plus. Throughout today's setup, we are gonna be plugging the Ledger device into your computer. I'm gonna be using a Mac computer today. Uh, you can use a PC or a Mac. Just wanna make sure that whatever device you're using, that you can successfully plug your device into your computer. Different computers have different ports. The Ledger does come with a USB-C end for the Ledger device, and then a USB 2.0 end to plug into your computer or an adapter. If you do need an adapter like me, cause I'm on a Mac, make sure you have one handy before the rest of the steps in this video. Before we dive into actually setting up the Ledger, want to make sure we have a special program from Ledger. It's their companion app called Ledger Live. Now we use Ledger Live, this companion program, to download the Bitcoin app once we've set up our device. To do that, you can open up your internet browser and you're just going to navigate over to ledger.com. Once at ledger.com, you can search along the top navigation bar for app and services, and it's going to be the very first link for you, Ledger Live. From there, you can select the left-hand side option for download the app, and you can choose uh, which device you're on, if you're on a Windows machine, a Mac machine, or a Linux machine. What we're gonna do now is focus all of our attention on the device specifically. We'll come back to Ledger Live a little bit later on so we can get the Bitcoin app and you can see the Ledger interface, but now it's time to get our new Bitcoin key. We're gonna be getting a private key, a 24 word seed phrase. You're also gonna be able to set a pin for your ledger so you can protect it in case it were to fall into the hands of somebody who's not yourself. So in order to do that, what we wanna do is now plug the device into the computer. And I'm gonna be greeted by a big ledger display. Then I'm gonna see this screen on my device that says welcome. I'm gonna press the rightmost button along the top of the ledger. So there's a left button and a right button. Really those are how you navigate through the ledger interface. We're gonna hear more about that in a second. I press the rightmost button and it's gonna say download ledger live at ledger.com slash start. We've already done that little trick of the trade. I uh, made sure we had the ledger live program downloaded before we began these steps. You can now press the rightmost button again to continue. And now this is really the key screen that we wanna see next. It says set up as new device and it's in bold. So I know that if I wanna make a selection here and truly set up as a new device, I'm gonna to need to press both buttons along the top of the ledger. I'm gonna see my very first option here says choose pin with four to eight digits. As I covered briefly a while ago, the pin is not the seed phrase, is not the private key. The pin is simply used to give some additional physical protection to your device, similar to how you might have a pin set for your cell phone. So to set a pin for my brand new Ledger device, I can press both buttons and you're gonna see an interface where you can enter your desired pin. I can press the left or the right button to scroll through the listed digits until I find the one that I want and I can press both buttons to make a selection. Now I'm gonna choose a pin today just for the sake of ease with this setup. My pins are gonna be one, two, three, four. Don't do this at home. I suggest using a pin that's a little bit more complicated than one, two, three, four. General guidance would be don't use something commonly used like your birth year or the last four of your social. When you've entered a fourth digit, you're gonna see on the ledger interface screen, you're gonna see a little check mark. I can press the both buttons to make the selection on the check mark. It's gonna have me enter my entire pin again, just to confirm that I want the pin of one, two, three, four. So I can go ahead and enter those digits one more time. Now my pin is set. 
The next thing the Ledger device shows me is write down your recovery phrase. So at this point, you do wanna make sure that you have a pen on hand along with one of those booklets that came with your device where you can write down words one through 24 for your new seed phrase. Now it is important that you write down these seed phrase words in order, one through 24. They are not case sensitive, so you can write them down in all uppercase or all lowercase if you'd like. Really the most important thing when it comes to your seed phrase is that they're written down in order and spelled correctly. And then of course, you never ever want to take a picture of these words or keep a digital copy. Um, they're really meant to be physically secure for your eyes only. Once you have a pen with you and that booklet, you can go ahead and press both buttons for write down your recovery phrase. You can then press the rightmost button to continue. It is your only backup to restore your accounts if needed. Write it down on your recovery sheet in the correct order, and then you can press both buttons to continue on. Now you're gonna get to see your seed phrase words one by one on the next interface. So I'm gonna now record these words in my recovery sheet. I'm gonna go through slowly, making sure I'm not rushing along. I wanna make sure that I'm spelling everything correctly. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. To get your next word, you can go ahead and press the rightmost button to get word number two, and so on. You can press the rightmost button and you're gonna see a message on the screen of your ledger device that says press left to verify your 24 words or press both buttons to continue. So at this point, if you would like to scroll back through those 24 words that you just wrote down, I'm gonna scroll to the left just a little bit just to go back a few words, make sure that they're correct with what I have written down here. And then I'm going to press both buttons to continue on. Now, something that I really appreciate that Ledger does is actually has you confirm your seed phrase words. So it is gonna give you a little quiz to make sure that you have your words correctly written down in order. To confirm your recovery phrase, you can press both buttons on your Ledger device and you're gonna start with confirm word number one. You're gonna see then a word there. It might be the correct word for your word number one, but it might be incorrect. So what you wanna to do to see all of your options in this quiz question is scroll to the right, press the rightmost button until you see the word that is correct. Once you see the correct word, you can go ahead and press both buttons to confirm. You're gonna be prompted to then confirm word number two and so on. So I'm gonna go ahead and confirm each of my words, just doing another diligence check to make sure I wrote down all my 24 words correctly and in order. Once you've confirmed all your 24 recovery words, your ledger screen is gonna say your recovery phrase is set, keep it in a secure place. You can then press the rightmost button to continue on. It says, if lost, stolen, or forgotten, all your assets will be irredeemably lost. Again, this is really important to stress. I mentioned it earlier. Now that you have your 24 words written down and you've even verified that they're in the correct order, you wanna make sure that you never ever keep a digital copy of your seed phrase words. This includes taking a picture of them, putting them on a thumb drive, putting them in maybe what you believe to be a secure password manager or a notes app on your phone, nothing like that. You wanna keep these words physically secure through either writing them down like I've done today some individuals do stamp these words onto a steel or metal backup product, always kept physically secure, always done by you as the key controller. To continue on, you can press the rightmost button. It's gonna say, never share it with anyone. Ledger will never ask you for it. Press the rightmost button. Then it's gonna say, press both buttons to continue. It'll say processing on the screen of my ledger. Then it says, your device is ready. You can press the rightmost button and it's gonna say in bold letters, go to the dashboard. I can go ahead and press both buttons. And now I'm on a brand new screen, my new dashboard for my ledger, where the first item, it just says install app. Now this is where we turn our attention to Ledger Live, that program that we downloaded at the beginning of the setup video today. We wanna to use Ledger Live as the program to download the Bitcoin app. We're also gonna use Ledger Live to conduct a firmware update for our Ledger. We always wanna make sure that Ledger is running the most up-to-date firmware and that you have the most up-to-date Bitcoin app. So to see what I mean, let's dive into Ledger Live. Ledger Live is now gonna open up for me. The first time you open it, you're gonna see kind of this welcome message from Ledger. What we're gonna be doing here is selecting Get Started. There's the white button on the left-hand side. And then you're gonna choose which device you're working with today. Now, 
The one I'm working with is a Ledger Nano S Plus. Like I said, if you are using another device like the ones listed here, a Ledger Nano S or a Ledger Nano X, these same steps really apply to you too. So you can make your selection for whichever device you're using to continue forward. And now on this next screen, you know, Ledger Live does walk you through those process and procedures that I just walked you through, but you already have done that. You already have a recovery phrase. You can scroll down to the second option here that says already have a recovery phrase, connect your Nano S Plus. You can just press the little right direction arrow on the bottom. Perfect. It's going to then do a genuity check just to check that your Ledger device is genuine. It's very quick. You can just select check my Nano in the bottom right. It's going to be loading for a little bit. On the screen of your Ledger device, it is going to ask you to allow the Ledger Manager. So I'm going to go ahead on my device and press both buttons. My Ledger Live will give me this check mark. I can then select Continue. And I'm now on my new Ledger Live dashboard. Really, all we want to focus on at this point in time is choosing My Ledger down in the bottom left hand side of the screen. And then you're going to see some more information about your brand new device. I want to cover a few things here. The first might pop out at you right away. There's a big orange bar across the top. It says update firmware. Before I download any Bitcoin app, I want to make sure my device is on the most up-to-date firmware. So I can go ahead and select update firmware on the right hand side here. It'll give me just an info bar that's going to pop out telling me what's new in this new version of Ledger. Usually it is security patches and important updates. Let's go ahead and select continue. And then it's going to begin the update process, usually pretty quick and easy. Perfect. Now you are going to be prompted within Ledger Live to confirm this firmware update. So I'm going to scroll to the right on my device and press both buttons for confirm update. Now it is going to ask me to enter my pin one more time. Now it does say on the Ledger Live interface operating system update success. You can go ahead and then select install apps. So at this point, we can grab the Bitcoin app. That's really what we need in order to fully use our new Bitcoin key, in this ledger. I'm going to press both buttons to allow a secure connection to my ledger. And we're going to now see that app list that we saw before the, the firmware update. Now, right now, I don't have any apps downloaded onto my ledger. So I'm going to go ahead and select install to the right. The Bitcoin app, the one you want, is at the very top. I'm going to go ahead and select install. Should be pretty quick for us. It's going to give us a progress bar and then a green check mark when it's fully installed. I do see the green check mark and the installed message. And now also on the screen of my Ledger device, I am going to see a Bitcoin B. And if you hover over it, it says Bitcoin down on bottom. If you ever want to use the Bitcoin app as you're working with maybe the Unchained platform or another connected wallet, you can press both buttons on that Bitcoin app on your dashboard to open up the Bitcoin application. At this point, your Ledger device is fully set up. You have your 24 word seed phrase, really the most important thing we did today. Remember, you want to keep that physically secure. You have a pin set for your ledger and we have the Bitcoin app installed that allows us to interact with Bitcoin wallets in the future. And we want to make sure that our Bitcoin is safe and secure, holding our own keys, not out on an exchange, ideally in multi-sig. At this point, you are good to completely unplug your ledger device. Make sure to keep that adapter on hand when you plug your device into your computer again at some point in the future. Thank you for checking out today's video. We'll see you in the next one.